was exhausted. We had the best time. She had such a good time with Ashton. And I had such a good time with everyone. My mom and John and my dad and Nancy Poo came yesterday. And we just had the best time celebrating my nephew's birthday. He turned three, three years old. And he was so cute. We just had a really good, a really good time. So we're on our way home.
the chemistry and all the things, but then you can have like one thing that ends up being a deal breaker because you just don't agree on the way that you handle certain situations or you don't agree on the way that, you know, I don't know, it's just things for the future that you really need to talk about in the beginning. I mean, some things, you know, and it's making me think about it because we were talking about this last night. You know, some things you can find out right away, like what their beliefs are. You know, of course, like that would be a deal breaker for me. Like um, religion, um, politics may or may not be a deal breaker, but it just depends on the person. But the way that you, you know, spend and save money, that could be a deal breaker. Um, over time, you know, you're going to be at odds if you don't agree with how to prepare for the future and things like that. You know, you could just have so many things going for you and then that one thing that just causes tension and, you know, it can just really erode your foundation. And so it's so important when you're looking for that person to spend the rest of your life with. I mean, marriage is supposed to be for life. And, you know, when you spend seven years with someone and you just keep coming into the same problems, you know, it's tough because you love each other, but if you have a big problem that is not, you know, it's not changing, after a while, you have to everyone, life is short, and everyone deserves to be happy, you know, it may be something that just, people are just different, that's what makes us, you know, individuals, you're not going to agree on the same thing, and that's fine, but you just might not be compatible for marriage, but you might still love each other, and you might still like each other, I mean, you know, and have children together, and be joined for life, you know, in that aspect, but, but if you're not compatible for marriage, you know, you, I don't know, it's just weird, so just make sure you take your time, and don't be in a rush, it's easier said than done, because when you're in this situation, you want to see the best, you want to be positive, you want it to, you don't want to think about those things, you know, but they're very important because eventually down the road it's going to cause problems if it's completely different than the way that you do things or the way that you want to do things you know it's going to cause a problem and it's just not good it's not healthy so what do you do when that happens like eventually you know if it doesn't work it just doesn't work so I guess what I'm saying is um I know that like with when marriage doesn't work out you can feel shame I know that's a big a big emotion that comes with you know with when marriage doesn't work out but I'm here to tell you that you know don't feel shame as long as you gave it your all and as long as you tried your best and as long as you prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed excuse me and you know gave it your all and gave it time if you've given it some years and you're just spinning your wheels eventually at some point you have to let it go you know and there's no shame in that um you know eventually you realize like life is just a bunch of experiences and a bunch of different trials and tests and you can choose I think it's all about what you how you choose to handle it you know and what you gain from it what you grab like grab a hold of any knowledge that can come with or wisdom that can come with you know any experience whether it's divorce or whatever happens a loss you know whatever you're going through just choose to learn from it and you know it it humbles us it definitely humbles us when things don't go the way that we intended or the way that we think they should go but at the same time you know God has a reason for everything and I'm not I'm not saying that he causes that to happen because I feel like 
like we have free will and you know he allows us to pick to make our choices and sometimes we don't fully you know make the best decision maybe we don't think it all the way through or you know and if we that's that falls on us but there shouldn't be shame and I mean if you know if you experience a loss or it doesn't work you know you can feel like a failure and you're not like you're just you tried you gave it your all and some things you really can't you know if you and, and you're human you're not gonna do everything perfectly and we all have flaws and you know it's just all in a matter of what you can do with and what you can't and for everyone to be at peace you have to do what's best for you and your family and sometimes that might be the best route to go and I'm not saying you know obviously I'm not saying rush into divorce that's not what I'm saying but if you've been at it for some years and it's still not working then that might be the best thing to consider as long as if the problem like I said if the problem is not going to change of course try counseling you know go to your pastor pray for discernment all that you know and really try to work with each other but at the end of the day it's like if you're just if you're not compatible you're just not compatible and it's no one's fault really like it's not either one either person's fault if you're just not compatible you know um so anyways just don't feel shame and just go to god and just learn from it you know it takes some time for yourself to heal and go over in your mind you know how what could have been done better on both parts and what you can do in the future you can't do anything about the past you know you can't go back in the past all you can do is learn from it and choose how you're gonna apply that to your next situation and the rest of your life you know take some time to yourself don't rush into anything and just take your time I mean then again there's you know some people that do take their time and it, it comes down to like well what is how long should you take how what's the right amount of time to wait you know um, you can wait forever sometimes and then not really end up you know find out you end up finding things out later that you know so it's like can't beat yourself up you just can't beat yourself up you can think coulda woulda shoulda but the reality is that you know it's a blessing it's in every way it's a blessing and you just grow from it you just learn from it you just become stronger you just become better and more humble and if anything it helps you like pray to God and realize your need for a savior you know that we are human and we screw up we can't don't have we can't figure it out by ourselves having God you know walking with him every day and asking for his help and his discernment and ask for a revelation and wisdom that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna just focus on my relationship with God and focus on my baby girls and just try to be the best person that I can be and that's all you can do at the end of the day you know you have but let me just say this I feel like taking accountability is so important and there's a difference between conviction and um, condemnation there's a, a difference between being convicted and condemning yourself or the devil you know making you feel condemned Conviction is when you, you know, your heart, you feel like, okay, you realize what you could have done better. You realize what you, what you did wrong. You take accountability. You apologize for that. And you ask for, you know, you repent. You ask for forgiveness, but you also turn your way. So you're going to turn the opposite way from your sin or your mistake, you know, and you're going to do better. You're going to learn and you're going to grow and you're going to do better in the future. But you can't, you know, keep doing the same thing over and over and over. And you can't blame someone else.
else for your your shortcoming your you know you can't do that you have to take accountability that's the only way you're going to grow and and make something of yourself in this life and and you know fulfill your purpose is you have to take accountability that's like one of the main like step number one take accountability look yourself in the mirror and realize like I can do this better. Yes, I did do, you know, like, you can't blame your characteristics or choices, habits of the way that you do things. You cannot blame that on your childhood. You cannot still be blaming stuff on your childhood when you're a grown person. Let's just say that. I'll just get tired of people blaming things on their childhood or the way that they were, you know, raised, like, yes, that does affect certain things to a certain extent, but you can't use that as a crutch. You have to, there's some people that were, you know, had childhoods that, you know, the same childhood, but then they turn out completely different because, you know why? Because they choose to, they take accountability and they choose to look themselves in the mirror and choose to do better and be better have the humility, you know, pride is, I cannot stand pride, and I know we're all guilty of it, having it sometimes, but pride will get you nowhere, pride is like, it makes it hard for you to admit that you're wrong, or that you could change and do better, or that, you know, it's your choice that you did that, like, it's no one else's, no one else's fault, and we have to realize, like, that we, we have free will, we, we do what we want, like, I just, it's so important that you not blame other people for things, or you, you not blame a lack of resource, you know, for your decision making, because at the end of the day, everyone has the same same ability to research and, you know, take, take that step and be proactive and choose to, you know, get help or make more of an effort. I mean, we all have the same ability. We all have the same, you know, I understand people's circumstances are different growing up, but that does not define you. As long as you make the decision that you're not going to let that define you, you don't have to let that define you. So, take accountability. It just, it just helps you be a better person. It just makes you feel better, I feel like. It's just, like, helps you be humble and helps, not just humble, but helps you have the space and room to grow and take advice and when it's, you know, beneficial to you, when someone has your best interest it's just, it, it wastes time when you can't take accountability and you're only hurting yourself. But anyways, that's my two cents, but it's a beautiful day. We had a great weekend. I'm so excited that Ashton had a great birthday party. Me and Christy had such a good time. We put together our both our first, it was both of our first um, balloon arch that we did. And it was a lot easier than we than I think we anticipated. So that looked really good. The kids had a great time together and it was just really a great weekend. I thank God for it. I thank God for every time I get together with my family. I just it makes me feel so good. It just kind of pulls me out of my funk if I am in one. So we're gonna go get Ari, go home, get showers and clean up the house and yeah just kind of like restart and refresh and get ready for the week um I probably need to go to the grocery store yeah I think I'm gonna do that definitely need to go to do that and that's about it so anyways I hope y'all have a great day a happy Sunday so don't wait on someone else. I'm just going to say this. Don't wait on someone else. Don't let someone else keep you from doing